Hi everyone. We are kind of continuing gearing up to getting ready to shooting season. A lot of us are shooting. It's March. Last week we talked about um, aiming at the spot, finding the spot, um, whether it's an old splatter, a piece of mm, a piece of grass that has gotten painted over. And remember, we have that perfect spot in our mind as of where we are going to be aiming. So I want to go ahead and people are like, well, I have the spot, but um, I'm shaking, I'm moving, everybody moves. So you need to concentrate on that spot and then squeeze your trigger on the way into that spot um, to kind of go negative again, which I don't like doing. If you squeeze on the way out, you've already missed your shot. So kind of what we talked about last week, if you find yourself going by the spot, then then stop, retake the shot. And then Dad and I talked a little bit about this this morning. He thought it would be a good idea to kind of go in depth a little more of actually how to get to that spot, maybe a little training. So what you need to do is probably go ahead and move a ram or your chicken, anything with that perfect spot back closer. And we're talking pretty close uh, until you can train your brain to break on that shot easily. So let's say you keep it like at 20, 20 meters, 20 yards. When you're breaking on that shot, that spot, quickly every time kind of training your brain to break on that spot, then move it out, maybe 10, 10 meters or so. And then maybe you'll finally have a chicken at a chicken. And then maybe move your ram to chicken or your turkey to chicken and kind of train your brain. Hi, guys. We're training our brains to work on that spot. So go ahead and break it, move it further and further out till you have like a turkey and you're shooting that, that perfect spot on the turkey every time you're training your brain to break on the way in, be stubborn on that spot. And that's going to be so important. Once we have to squeeze and follow through, that's the mental game. That's the mental game of it is, is that spot. Concentrating on that, being stubborn, taking it on the way into the spot. So go ahead and try that. Um, the nice thing about this is you can you can do it dry firing too. So if you don't necessarily um, have a big range to go shoot at, maybe set your dry firing target up closer, which would be nice if you live in town. You could even do it, you know, at your back fence or things like that. So try dry firing it. Let me know how it goes, and I look forward to seeing a lot of you guys this year. Thanks, guys. Bye.